Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Feedback Friday. Today to start off I have some interesting news about some things that have been posted on social media relating to Dirty Bomb. A few days ago Twitter user at Max Bashki posted this tweet saying remember these? Showing off some headshots of a female model who looks strikingly similar to Dirty Bomb's Amy. A day later he posted this picture of some new fashion outfits, and now this isn't unusual coming from a fashion designer, but what is unusual is the fact that all of the models are carrying a sniper rifle, not something you usually see models on a runway carrying. He also posted this soon after, almost confirming that this is in relation to Dirty Bomb's mercenary Amy. The resemblance is most certainly uncanny, and what interests me the most are how amazing the concept art is for these designs. I love the difference in color from red to blue in the actual outfit and part of the merc itself rather than just a red or blue hue being added, but also the actual difference in outfits depending on if you're an attacking jackal or a defending CDA. I think that idea is very cool. And Max also tweeted out again the next day this picture with the caption saying, The new CDA uniform is sexy as hell. Wouldn't mind cleaning up a hashtag dirty bomb in this bad boy. Absolutely confirming that this is indeed tied with dirty bomb. It does leave a lot to speculation, wondering if all of this will be implemented with the next update, but also whether or not each merc will have their own specific CDA outfits. As you can see here, the concept for the CDA outfits and what I'm assuming to be the CDA outfit for Amy have an unmistakable difference between them, so we'll just have to wait and see about that one. But all in all, it's quite a lot of cool things that can be left to speculation. But speaking of speculations, some users over on Reddit have come up with some of their own theories in regards to what all of this means. One user shown here has come up with quite the interesting theory involving one of the new maps, Gallery, being somehow included in this event. Well, this idea was unfortunately shut down by community manager Shu, saying that he can confirm that there will be no new map with the coming update. However, that is all he said, and this of course left even more speculation to be had by the players, and of course a bit of fun too. But this has given us a lot of hope in regards to having a new merc to play with after the next big update. In other news, a new environmental audio system is being worked on that is sure to shake things up and allow for a more immersive experience. Now what this update will do is affect the way sounds are generated by taking into account its environment, adding certain amounts of reverb depending on the surroundings, allowing you a greater ability to differentiate where certain audio is coming from. Firing a gun in a narrow passage or small room will obviously sound much different than if it was being shot outside or wide open space so it makes sense to allow the audio to be rendered in this way. The system is being called VBear, and in Splash Damage's words, it provides a more immersive experience by allowing sound to reflect the current environment's look and offers smooth transitions between different areas. As the system works at runtime for local as well as remote players, it makes it easier to identify the origin of a gunshot and the proximities of the listener. This is due to the sound carrying the source's environmental character. So basically what this means is that if you fire your gun in a certain area, the sound of your gun firing will reflect the environment around it, allowing players to pinpoint where that sound is coming from with greater precision. VBear is also said to be responsible for controlling environment-driven content playback, and in closing this is what SD had to say about it. By approaching guns' audio design in a modular way, we're able to control individual, gun-specific characteristics through VBear the same way we control reverb. This allows us to overcome the limitations that come with using reverb, granting us more freedom over designing the individual guns' core character and preserving it in the different environments. And in other news, a new weekend event has just launched! Now, don't get this confused with the big update coming soon, but from now until Tuesday, March 28th, trade-ups for iron up to silver will require one fewer cards from the previous tier, and all trade-ups will cost 20% less credits. So if you've been meaning to trade up your cards recently, now is one of the best times to do it. Redder user 2eco... Is it 2eco? 2eco? Anyways, who is known for their average credit cost spreadsheets for trade-ups has put together a spreadsheet with the calculations for this week's event. Keep in mind that this is for trade-ups only, trade-ins are not affected by this event. So like I said, save up those credits and cases from now until Tuesday and spend them all on trade-ups. Or save 50k and wait until Amy comes out. 
Last up for news today, we have more information regarding future updates. A private test server has just been announced to be released sometime soon, and will be used along with members of the community to test upcoming updates before they are pushed live. Seats within the PTS group are currently invite only, but there may be a look at expanding the user base once there have been a number of successful tests. Also, any content relating to or from the PTS is strictly confidential between the invitees and Splash Damage themselves. So this means anyone taking part in the PTS will not be allowed to discuss or post any of their findings for the general public to read. Personally, I think this is a good step in the right direction to get members of the community involved with the creative and testing processes of the game, though this does still leave a majority of the player base in the dark when it comes to what might be coming. But in my opinion, I think it's a much safer solution to have the more engaged and positive members of the community involved with this type of thing than letting anyone with two cents get in on it. I say this because we all know how ludicrous the ideas of some individuals might be. But anyways, that's just about it for this video, so I hope you learned something, enjoyed the video, or at least found me somewhat entertaining. For those of you who are serious about stepping up your skill level in Dirty Bomb, I have been considering creating a long playlist of in-depth tutorials and guides for improving at the game. So if that's something that interests you, be sure to let me know down below and let me know which Merc is your favorite. And I might just make my first Merc in-depth guide on that Merc. Anyways, again, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. But until then, take care everyone.